Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are, I don't know, quizzing over this um, chaos spyglass of blinding plus three. Um, I don't know what's going on with that, but we're just going to ignore it. Do you see that? No. No, I don't. What are you talking about? Was that it? Was it this? Was it this, this note? Implant was a worthwhile investment. I don't know what she saw. I have no idea what she saw. <laughs> Never doubt me. It doesn't really draw attention to um, hidden stuff very well. Uh, okay. Maybe this is where we can turn things off, perhaps. Pack the cogitator's defences, huh? Well, that sounds cool. Alright, let's do that. Well, that succeeded. We do have a tech priest with us, so I mean, you know, feels inevitable. Machine spirits look favourably upon you. You overcome the cogitator's defences. A message archives up, judging by the accompanying notes, they were meticulously transferred from paper into sacred machine storage. Alright, let's go to missives, I suppose. Uh, okay. Apparently that's updated some things. Um, new missive. Heed the words of a harbinger of Aurora. Let it be known to you that the prophesied hour is nigh, and the faithful must triple their efforts. Those who stand in the way of our salvation must be swept away. Let it be revealed that you, uh, to you that the enemy is about to receive reinforcements. Remember the name, Morgana von Valencius. Her ship has already entered the system. We should expect this enemy to show up near our positions. Whoever rids our comrades from that threat will receive Aurora's uh, special blessing. A chance to stand by the Prophet's side when the hour comes. Be vigilant. Let the final dawn come. It reminds me of the, um, the guys from... Uh, was it Oblivion? They were always talking about... Scooch in my chair. Um, yeah, they were always talking about um, the final dawn, weren't they? I forget. But I think it's the ones that we're all obsessed with um, Mayroon's day gone, right? Anyway, uh, that's a whole other thing. So, Aurora's Harbingers wish you to know, O oh brethren, that the Von Valencia's ship is headed for the Navigator Station. You have time to prepare. Oh, interesting. You have, a, you have time to prepare for warm welcome with the enemies. They knew we went there. Tell the Harbingers we've intercepted a convoy of the Governor's underlings who were supposed to meet that Von Valencia's woman. Only one of them got away out of the whole convoy. That is true. But he's not long for this world. Neither that youngster nor those he's supposed to meet are going to make it to the governor's lair. Our comrades have got their hands on a Vox station used by the guards. And these knuckleheads have no clue we can all hear their comms. We know their every movement, and we're going to throw them a jolly good welcome party. Let Aurora know we'll do all that needs to be done to stop their enemies. Let the final dawn come. So that's important. And uh, Law Imperium. Cool. Uh, markers on the box station clearly indicate that it belongs to Plantary Wardens. There are visible scratches and traces of blood. Okay. Is that what she found? That's an arm or a leg or something. I think I've blown off that guy. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, more flamers and things. That's all fine. That can all go to cargo. Um, so let's have a look at this. What's this doing? Aurora's sermon. Interesting. Okay. Let's uh, let's take that and uh, let's read it. It's coming. It's coming. It's drawing ever nearer. Heed the word of Aurora. Forget all your mundane affairs. Ambitions are but dust. Desires are but rust upon the metal of the soul. The final dawn is coming. It will put an end to all worldly vanities. Well, that's good to know. Um. Ooh, phantom cloak. Protects against warp damage. That sounds handy. Um, I guess. Warp damage is that like uh, any any psychic attack? Or I'm not sure. Um, that makes us handsome when we have more enemies near us. Is that really necessary? I'm not sure it is. I think we probably want Cassia to have that because I think her fellowship is actually more useful. So if she gets swarmed, she can buff our, you know, the rest of our team a little bit more. So that they can get her out of that mess. Does that sound good? I think it sounds pretty good. Alright. That can all go to cargo. Okay, that can all go to cargo. Just assuming it's all worth shoving into cargo. Can shut off that steam vent. Yeah, run through the steam to do it. That's the way we do it. Nice. More goods over here. Alright, there's some stairs over here. So, maybe that'll take us where we need to be. There's a few... There's a few places to run into, sadly. 
flatter myself okay, good. through my service. And the good. Emperor favors me today. Now let's check this out. Uh, these enormous humming transformers must be part of a single, much larger mechanism that provides power to the whole hive. Interesting. Okay. I dare not good. Cast your eye there. Where? There? Alright, there's a lot of traps here. Which does make me slightly suspicious. Oh. Yeah, this is very unusual, just how many traps there are through here. I imagine this is probably a way we could have broken in had we gone the other way. You know, there's that other route through. Uh, down here, we could have jumped off that balcony or whatever. I imagine this is the result. Okay, is that one of our guys who's humming? Because that sounds a little scary. Yeah, so I think that's right. Cool. Oh, we could have gone through that door as well. Interesting. Rebel soldiers and ordinary workers, all who have been here, perished under the rubble of the buildings. And that, yeah, gets us upstairs. Okay, cool. So we, we worked our way around. So, the way through, presumably, is we go through here. Presumably. Uh, this returns to the oh star thoroughfare. Cool, let's do it. Oh, interesting. Uh, interesting. Okay, so we're up here now. So we've been here before. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to be hearing those sounds. Those sort of city noises. Hey, where the hell are we? Oh. Okay. Maybe we were. Hang on, so we've been here before. Hadn't we? Because down here, yeah, that's how we get down to the doorway we were at. So we've been around here before, but somehow not here? I'm very confused. Can we look at a map? Oh, this is a different coast. So actually, uh, yeah, this is further along then than we were. We, we have traveled further along. Yeah, because look, that doesn't go anywhere. So that's not the same door that we went into. Yeah, we've moved further along. So that would take us to the one that says, like, go to other coast, you know? Okay, cool. Uh, fight heresies, serve high purpose, save guys from his dominance. Who's saying that? Is that just written on the ground? Oh, I think it's on a flyer. Yeah, okay. Serve the Emperor in your heart and deeds when you join. Yeah, it's actually real time. Just recruitment flyers. Some blind folks. The world is full of colours I have never seen before. And this must be the other side of that knackered point. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Is that okay? Okay, yeah, they're mines. Yeah, you really did. Okay, please stop exploding. Thanks. I assume these goods are gonna be good. Jesus. He's blowing up her hands. Stop blowing up your hands. You need those. Give an egg. I better myself <laughs> through <laughs> my service. I don't need to do all these, but we are getting a little bit of experience every time I do it. <laughs> yeah, I think this guy must have surrounded himself with mines to stop people from getting to him. Soldier is uttering incoherently, is not reacting to anything around him. Uh nope, he just had Oh, unholy dagger. Well that doesn't seem useful. Huh. Well, whatever. We're taking all of it. I go where the whispers. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Um. Hmm. Okay. Moving on. It is my destiny to traverse And yeah, I thought this would be a dead end. It wants us to go through that crowd. Clearly. Uh, ancient monocle from Terra. The wielder's law, Imperium, checks depend on fellowship instead of intelligence. That's really cool. That's a really fun idea. Because that means that you are you but what you know about ancient terror isn't as a result of like study. 
it's as a result of of your um, sort of discussions with high lords of terror and things, right? It's it's a it's a class based thing. It's your ability to have, have sort of ingratiated yourself in people in the know. It's a fun idea. So um, yeah, let's do that because I think we're an idiot, aren't we? Yeah, we're a complete moron. So this is perfect. This is a clever thing to do. Cool. That and I mean, you know, Monocle's very uh, very forty k, isn't it? Cast your eye where? Oh, you found a... You found a trap over there. I don't know what trap that would be. I mean, there's a whole gaggle of people. How are they not setting that off? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh, well. Well, let's save it. A nice little I'm trying to get in that habit. Of quick saving. I don't think we need to. Probably just blast everybody. Some ten people, children among them, are huddling together in fear. You see that half of them have black holes where their eyes used to be. Ooh. Some keep a gloomy silence, others are wailing. Several armed insurgents are carefully watching over the terrified hostages, snapping every now and then at someone who's winced too sharply or is crying too loud. Come to your senses, Arild. Uh, oh, it's an elderly citizen. Come to your senses, Arild. Look what you're doing to your own family. This is what all old people sound like. I have it on the the greatest of authority. Uh, a woman of about 60, grey-haired but still firm of limb, is kneeling before a stocky man with a thick, pure white beard, stretching her arms towards him. Take pity on us, let us go. Fanatical old man. Stop talking, you whippersnapper, and stop refusing to be saved. Our children have gained true sight while you still believe the lie. Upon seeing you, the man points his weapon at you. It's rude to point. Other insurgents do the same. Who are you and why are you here? Where am I? I'm hungry. <laughs> the television's too loud. Uh, what are you trying to save them from? Uh, no, you tell me. Who are you? What are you doing to these unfortunates? Are all these people your family? I mean, seriously, like, screw Grandpa. He's a total dick. Um, I'm blinding the grandchildren. Happy birthday. D nah, we're not, won't do. What are you saving them from? At Aurora's behest, Aurora is a great prophet and a great warrior. His face is hidden, but his gaze pierces the veil of time and sees into the future. He says my grandson's going to visit me soon. I always knew they were hiding the truth from us, and my hopes have been fulfilled. A prophet has come to Rickad Minoris and opened our eyes. The end of the world is coming, the final dawn, and only those who accept Aurora's truth will survive it. Uh, all right. So, what are, you, what are you doing? I am senior. My former name, Arild, is meaningless now. I don't know why I brought it up. <laughs> Did I tell you I I one, once met John Travolta? Uh, Arild is meaningless now. I am a father leading his family to deliverance from woes to salvation. Aurora has opened my eyes to the truth. I feel like my old man voice is getting older with every word. He's just he's just withering before our eyes. Arild, spare us. Spare your children. Why do you sound like me? I don't. I don't sound anything like you. Yes, you do. <laughs> right, let's, let's just move on. Uh, Bevalentia, what you're doing is no salvation. Stop taking your fear out on innocence. Boomers, am I right? It will either ease your suffering nor rid you of fear. You've been torturing your own family in order to save them. Uh, you've been blinding them so they can see the truth. Well, yes, that's just ask me to reiterate. I'm a rogue trader. Stop it. Um, let's go, uh, Benevolentia. But all I wanted was to save. I. The man drops his weapon and covers his face with his hands in desperation. You hear several short sobs. Uh, sad. There's no washing the blood from your hands, but you could at least let us go, Arild. The ones you haven't disfigured yet. The rest, eh. The old man gestures the other insurgents, who lower their weapons. Then he shifts his gaze to you, trying to hold back tears. What happens to us now? Um, your family may go, and so so may you. But make sure I don't ever see you again. And d don't blind people. Imperialis, I mean, kill the man, right? Family be taken care of after you, I can debut to death. Like, yeah. Like, we're in the middle of an armed insurgency, and he's blinding. Like, he's clearly insane. 
and has done horrible damage to people. Like, he's either, like, full of chaos, or he is just... Like, there's no institution for him. This is 40k, you know? There's nowhere someone like him could be put uh, where he won't do this again. It's just, this is obviously awful in every possible way. Uh, the fact that we have a an ongoing, like, civil war to fight, probably just kill him. I know, I don't, I don't like the death penalty, but given the circumstances and the horrors that this guy is committing, I think this just lets us know that we're, everyone will be safe. You know? I think we may need to do that. But I do want more bene uh, Benevolentia points. Because I feel like we should collect those. Now I'm gamifying it. I don't like having to gamify it. But it's, just, it's odd. There's a weird disconnect to this game sometimes where someone can be like, Hello! And then you just shoot them dead. Right? You, the player doesn't even get any input. Your character decides, oh, they need to die. And yet, this person who's like clearly so mentally ill that he's blinding his grandkids, I like, and he's just like, no, you go home, you confused old man. It's like, what? Like, that feels mental to me. Like, that feels such a disconnect between, like, the, the, the normal state of, of being, you know, the status quo of this universe, and then, like, this. It's weird. It's very odd. Um, it's very strange. It's very strange indeed. Uh, we'll take care of his family. He can't, he can't be roaming around here. It's just, it's not gonna work. Seems I'll just see it. They start moving faster and soon disappear behind the bed. Yeah, good. You get out of it. Okay, all these other rebels. Are they are they fine? Now? What? Oh, they're all like involved in a chaos cult. We're just letting them walk. Away. This is what I mean. Sometimes it's just like, oh, that guy sneezed. Better murder him. And other times, just like. They have rounded up civilians and have been ceremonially blinding them. And we're just like, you go about your day. And they're like, oh well, it was all the old guy. I was just here pointing a gun at his kids. Because uh, I, I usually stand here and do that. Nothing to do with me. Like, what? It just is so confusing. That whole thing is just like, feels so at odds with the rest of the game. How the rest of the game has handled things. That's so baffling. I hope they flesh this thing out a bit, because this is... Stop failing everything. What's this one? Old Wound. Oh, we should probably do something about that. Oopsie. Let's go to, um... Uh, you can do that, right? Well, then go and stand next to her! I can't possibly walk over there. It's impossible. <laughs> Okay, so she still has one stack. Okay, so we have to... There we go. She's fine now. Okay, good. Uh, Seuss, so that whole event it was so strange. So at odds. Everyone's still clapping, too. But, like, the fact that this is a an area you cannot go past? He had a bolt pistol. Awesome. And chainmail. Wow, that's really cool. Slightly worse, sadly, than the heavy leathers. Seems cool though. Maybe I'd give it to like I don't know, is he is he one to to dodge? I guess actually dodging his energy damage. But I don't know, some chain mail might be good. Give him some chain mail. Now yeah, we can go, sort of see it. I kinda like that their like clothes go over their armor. You know, for the most part, it looks a lot more like natural, except when it clips. That's no, not so natural. Anyway, so we've got a bolt pistol. Not terrible. Not terrible. I wish he could have a bolt pistol. That'd be great if he could have a chainsaw and a bolt pistol. That'd be very cool. Um, I wonder how you get proficiencies. Is it when you level up? I've just been getting recommended stuff, but I imagine there's like bolt proficiency and stuff amongst those, but not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, the fact that that's a, just some you event that you again. cannot get past has me so surprised that, like, that's the resolution. Or, you know, that's your choice of resolution, followed by, like, most people, like, even when you decide, no, no, this is clearly 
evil in that very literal, like, you know, evil is a tangible thing in 40k. Like a, an actual corrupting power. Can't have that. Pew, pew, pew. You know, like, just, I, I'm sure everyone knows what I mean. It's very bizarre that we just let everyone go like that. It's odd. Uh, anyway, um, oh, and that stops rolling again for some reason. Uh, goods in this duel are in stark contrast to the rest of the nearby shops. Jars are labelled all-purpose uh, synth powder. Satiation in any conditions. Made on the best factories of Necromunda. Oh, and we can't run that way anymore. Okay. So shall it be. Well, it looks like someone's having a lovely dinner up there before everything started exploding. Oh, can I run this way as well? Anything in this corner? Uh, I guess not. Oh, there we go. I thought there might be something, like, hidden. So, okay, just goods. But still, that's good. Glad we got some more stuff. We do need to check out, like, goods situation. I assume we can flog them. So, yeah, we went down there already. So, we can travel that way or that way. Do we want to go to the command center? Via that way or this way? This feels slightly off the beaten track, which might benefit us. Perhaps. So, let's go this way. be the road that we take. Oh. Okay. I just got a bunch of experience. I guess we're leveling up again. We're leveling up, like, every episode. It's kind of ridiculous you level up every 40 minutes of play. Like, we've not accomplished anything yet. So, you know, a bit odd. So, choose special ability. Interesting. Well, this is new. What the hell do I get, then? This turn, Marshman gets 4 MP and their attacks don't spend MP. That's kind of cool, but not huge. Till the end of combat, marksman rate of fire is increased by 30%. Um, okay. Oh, so this upgrades military excellence. So this is when we do our, like, special ability. It'll, it'll augment that. So it's actually choosing a special ability, like, augment kind of thing, right? So we do our, like, heroic act. This turn, every area of effect damage deals additional damage each number of attack targets, that's kind of cool. Uh, until the end of combat, all marksman attacks are 20% harder to dodge. That's pretty cool. And also, until the end of combat, plus two penetration on our attacks. I mean, rate of fire up by 30% is kind of... It's kind of cool, isn't it? I do kind of love that. But then, of course, every time you use um, heroic... Um, like, military excellence, right? Whenever you use that. Um, we don't get extra movement usually, so sometimes we're not in the right position to use it. So that's not bad, but I think we'll have to assume that we can be in the right position because we have leaders and stuff like that. So I think maybe the rate of fire just means more shots if we're fighting something big and scary. That means we're just shooting it like an extra time per rapid fire. And because rate of fire is increased, it means we get more attacks with our military excellence. That's also pretty huge. But that 30% increase isn't particularly powerful when we're using a sniper rifle. But that may change. We might end up using a, a bolt gun or something at some point. Um, I mean, harder to dodge, I think, is always going to be good. And extra penetration is good. So let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's assume that we're going to carry on using our sniper. I think that's fine. And then you... So I think this means we're on level 10 now, right? Level 9, apparently. Okay. Um, so, an additional 10 movement points until the end of the turn. That's really good, because his um, heroic thing, his heroic action, it lets him uh, move and melee and move and melee and move and melee. So, this lets him just move to more targets, which is pretty cool. Um, and you don't provoke attacks of opportunity, which is nice. Uh, we gain extra MP for each kill. That's pretty cool. Till the end of combat, the fighter may use their MP after attack or using ability, so he can actually attack and then move for the rest of the fight as well. Till the end of combat, he gains extra parry and damage deflection. Um, his melee attacks deal additional damage of an extra half of his strength bonus. So it'll be an extra two damage, which is a bit, a bit pathetic, honestly. It's not particularly great. Uh, so I quite like 
this one. Though I also kind of like this one. I mean, that's until the end of combat, actually. You get extra movement points for each kill. And so that's not only when you first use his heroic ability, he'll be able to start moving from enemy to enemy. But, like, also just the rest of the time as well. Yeah, I like this. I like that. That That's useful for a longer, I think. And then for Adira... Next round, target can't move. Target's movement is reduced. Attack also cripples enemy attacks. Uh, lowering weapon skill, ballistic skill by 30. That makes them really bad at attacking. The attack also uh, intimidates all enemies in a 5 square radius, reducing their dodge and armor by 15%. When I'm intimidated, my clothes fall off too. The target also provokes attack of opportunity. Uh, Any time it attacks. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. So if we've got an enemy that's, like, jumped into melee with us, and we blast it with that. Any time it's trying to fight anyone, we're just hacking away at it as it goes, which is pretty cool. That might be really useful. But then that also might be really useful, just stopping them hitting us. I think we'll go with this one. I think just a big debuff on, like, a boss enemy or something is probably a cool idea. Because broadly, it seems most bosses react every time you shoot them. So something like um, military excellence that says you keep shooting isn't necessarily great. Um, because, you know, you shoot a boss and then it attacks again. And then you shoot a boss and it attacks again. So, like, you're just giving it more turns as well. So being able to, like, do a big debuff it means that all those turns that are inevitable become less effective, which I quite like. Now here, extra rate of fire for her might be worthwhile. Just so she can get more bolter shots out with a single attack. So let's do that. Rate of fire up for her. Cool. And for you... Uh, this turn... I don't even know what a heroic thing is. This turn the target deals leaders uh, fellowship bonus halved damage. Okay. Until the end of combat, that ally gains the effect of voice of command. I don't know this character well enough. I just use a thing that seems to work, and that's fine. Uh, target gains temporary fellowship, three times fellowship bonus temporary wounds till the end of combat, which would be 15 temporary wounds with her. She has 50 fellowship. So that's kind of huge, actually. Any kill made by the target this turn restores 1 AP and 1 MP up to the leader's fellowship bonus, so up to 5. Uh, this target can redirect the ability to another target with the remaining AP and MP. I don't know what that really means, but okay. I think just big temporary wounds, fine. I don't know what the, other, the rest of the ability does. I'm sure there'll be other buffs they can benefit from. Um, so this one, until the Adept's next round, target can't move. Oh, is this the same? Yeah, this is the same one as whats face as Adira. Um, do I want to go the same one? I think maybe, honestly. I think both of them being able to do that is useful. Uh, so that'll do. That'll do. Alright, they're all leveled up. Sounds good. So, the formidable shells of the large caliber weapons have been stored right in the card center. Uh, Sultry Young Tech Priest is offering Ceaseless Press, the Machine Spirits, the Command Center. Yeah. Please. Please work, big guns. Stop the baddies. Uh, I gotta say, shells this big, though. Um, I'm not sure how good they'd be at putting down the Rebellion. I mean, they'd definitely put down the Rebellion, but they'd also put down the city. Anyway, hello, bodyguards. Welcome to Rickard Minoris Command Center. <laughs> Come right in. Don't you need... ID or anything? No, just we're allowed to. Okay. Yeah, there's a rebellion going on. Oh shush. Okay, so it looks like we came in through the right doorway. Although I'm starting to think that maybe any entrance that we took, it would have just taken us here. I don't think this is like the back entrance or anything. So some Adeptus Mechanicus acolytes, a bunch of bodyguards. I uh, don't know what that does. We'll find out, maybe. And there's uh, Governor Medini. 
Hello. Find out what's going on apparently isn't relevant anymore. Did we fail that? Okay, I can't open the journal, which is very annoying that you can't do that while you're in here. I think you should be able to, to check things. Seems odd you can't. But, um, so I guess we didn't find out what's going on. I mean, we found the... The blind... The blinding telescope of... Chaos plus three or whatever, like, so, I don't know. Odd. Anyway, uh, the tall, dark-skinned man turns towards you and greets you in a curt military manner. Uh, Faisal R Ricardi Abmedena Af Coronas, Governor of the Star System. Welcome to my temporary headquarters. The man's gaze rests on Avalard. His eyes narrow a little. Wazarian. Governor Medina. My greetings. I'm not seeing the convoy I sent to meet you. What happened? Have they failed to find and escort you? If, uh, if that is so, I promise you their punishment will be swift and severe. It was very swift and severe. Yes, they all exploded. They, they didn't explode. Uh, ambush and massacred. That's an outrage. I will immediately give the order to change the procedure for personnel background checks. <laughs> the slightest suspicion will be grounds for arrest. I will, I, will, I will check all of their backgrounds to see if they have a history of exploding. Your ladyship, before we proceed to discussing the subjects that are of interest to you, there is a question I feel compelled to ask. It was only recently that Lady Theodora was head of House von Valencius. I received no word of her death. I was at the UNL, the rogue trader. It is because she died. <gasps> oh my god, news of her death. My esteemed predecessor has died at the hands of pirates. May the Emperor incinerate their souls. I should be the one asking questions. Our ship was attacked by heretics. They killed Lady Theodora. Our ship was attacked. Theodora was killed and they claimed my inheritance. That is all you need to know. Um, yeah, I, want, I don't want him to think that this petty rebellion you know, that is honestly a joke, uh, put down our um, predecessor, you know. The governor frowns, and a deep shadow falls over his face. Shadow, rather, not shadow. Um, rogue trader von Valencia slain? Unthinkable. Please accept my deepest and most sincere condolences, your ladyship. Just tell me how I can be of help to you. I need new crew members to replace those killed in the attack my ship, and I need material reimbursement. Amazing. Uh, I realize you yourselves in a difficult situation, but my crew has sustained heavy losses. I must replenish it. Ship's crew has taken heavy losses. That is coercion. Failed, apparently. Of course, your ladyship. You'll be compensated for your damage. He nods with uh, no great enthusiasm. He received some <laughs> Amasek. That's very funny. So, Amasek is a... <coughs> Excuse me. Amasek is a, uh, is a... is a I think it's supposed to be like wine or brandy or something. I don't know what it's exactly supposed to be. Um, it could it could be a real world thing that I just don't know of. But anyway, it's some liquor that um, uh, uh, what's his name Eisenhorn, you know from the Eisenhorn book series. He's a big fan of Amasek. He he drinks it a lot, you know when he has uh, has time off. It's always whenever he's talking to his compatriots, it's always over a bottle of Amasek. Abelard nods in approval and remarks quietly, "Excellent, your ladyship. A rogue trader has no use for leniency." I can offer you several thousand heads of fine, obedient servants. However, I'm sad to say I won't be able to do it until we have dealt with the insurgency on the planet. So we won't have to wait long. The rabble will soon be duly punished for heretical scheming. Uh, an, interrog an interrogator is operating the system. Do you know where he is? Um, oh, we want to find Conrad Voidvier. Um, I would like to note the courage of one of your officers, Sergeant Malgar. He and his soldiers have put up a valid defence. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, that's fine. He did. Yeah, he's done his best. Um, is there anyone else I could do on this planet in the system while I wait? <laughs> I love that. Uh, I don't know, you got like a pool table or something? Is there a bar here? Are you really so confident in crossing the instruction soon? My own impression has been the exact opposite. Yeah, like literally everyone we've bumped into is running around without eyes or is gouging people's eyes out. And also are fine to go about their day as far as we're concerned according to that one event anyway we did kill grandpa so hooray for us um take that chaos one less grandpa in the the <laughs> in the armies of chaos uh i would like to note the courage of one of the officers a sergeant who managed to impress a person of such noble standing will be recommended for a decoration good uh i want to know where voivir is 
Voitvir is a traitor? Why? Any family, however noble, has its unworthy scion or two. Naturally, we'll hand him over if we find him within my jurisdiction. Unfortunately, I have no data as to its location. However, he pauses to think. We have a cogitator here at the Grand Center, to which a data crypt from Dodges Abel's Sanctum is connected. Okay. It aggregated all Lex Mechanic reports. No ranking tech priest. Okay. Unfortunately, the access prayer for it is unknown to me. If you manage to wrangle the stubborn machine, you might find something on Conrad's movements. I presume he fled uh, from you on a ship, not a pair of wings. Well, I mean, he did throw in his lot with the god of birds. Siege, you know, he's birdie. Uh, 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 uh von Kalox. Of Kalox Cornflakes fame. Governor lowers his voice. I do. Mr. Van Kalox has left for the hallowed uh, electrodynamic Cenobia. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> I'm I'm also a fan of their music. Uh, it's an ancient monastery of the Adeptus Mechanicus. I don't know what his goals are. Obviously, insurgents' movements have been observed in the monastery's vicinity, but I suppose that's too petty of a problem for an agent of the Most Holy Inquisition. Besides, I've already sent a small uh, sent small reinforcements to the region. All right, we can do that, I guess. Oh, that's in Rikad Minoris. We're on Rikad Majoris, aren't we? Or are we not? I'm not sure. Anyway, unfortunately right now you won't be able to leave the capital and set out to look for him. The rebels have got hold of some antique weapon and made flying over the city impossible. Yeah, notice that. Uh... Yeah, let's say that it doesn't seem particularly likely. Is that so? The governor maintains his composure. I'd like to hear your reasons for saying that. Everybody's crazy or dead or has no eyes. Scores of crazy people burnt out eyes are storming the city. It says he's headed by a certain Aurora prophet who, according to his or her followers, possesses mystical powers. I believe his old man, crazy old man, thinks he's his, and he seems he seemed like a good source of info. The insurgents talk of a final dawn depending into the world. The insurgents managed to steal a Vox station. They listened in on your people's communications. It's not much to go upon, but it's actionable. I will order an audit of our equipment to see to it that our communication channels are more closely monitored going forward. However, it was only an accidental success of a disorganized mob of heretics who have no concept of the art of war. Uh, instead of using arch enemies' artifacts, enchanted glasses, which they perform on holy sorcery. I've heard about those glasses. What makes you think they're enchanted? Any fool can light a fire using magnifying glass. That's no sorcery. Yeah, but this one is... This one is, though. It is, it is a sorcery one. Let's take my word for it. Uh, the insurgency is headed by a certain Aurora. Rabble's usual superstitions. I'm sure this Aurora is a flim-flabber. <laughs> oh my god, I need to give this guy an old man voice if he's calling people flim-flabbers. <laughs> Incredible. He's a flim-flabber. You know, a con man. A, 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 a snake oil salesman. A... Uh, uh, uh. Rootin' tootin' rollicker. Muttering some, uh, some doggerel. Some doggerel? Wow. Which, uh, their benighted followers think of magic spells. This does, of course, um, warrant his or her eventual burning in the furnace of penance. But it doesn't point to where, uh, to there being anything special about this insurgency. Um, yeah, I can see there's, I mean, yeah, crazy burnt out eye people. The insurgent maim their own? That's good for us. No, they're maiming us. And then, then, then they become their, their own. Um, you ought to leave your Pokemon off and uh, Governor Medina. Medina? Is Medina ready? <laughs> Five more minutes, love. Uh, I have only re recently arrived at this system and I already know much more about the uprising than you do. Let's go with this one. Another superstition. Surely one suggesting that I ought to believe in it. The governor's eyes darken, but your unwavering gaze makes him give in. So yeah, okay, the more the more clues we had deciphered, not the sort of clues that are hardly described, but you know, I mean in the literal sense. Um, as long as you can supply enough of a list of things, it allows you to break his resolve on the matter. Uh, all right, all right, perhaps I've been underestimating the mutiny, writing it off as, as rabble's usual nonsense. If it does involve real corruption and an underground cult, this needs to be investigated. I'll put additional resources to it and make the is and take the issue seriously. I promise, your ladyship. He's just been like, chilling, you know. Additional resources. Why are you putting all of your resources? The city is exploding, and they've taken a flipping like like 
you know, anti-orbital cannon. You know, like, just, just, like, come on. It just seems obvious. You're in the command center. Like, clearly, something is a work. This is ridiculous. I'll put, I'll put that other army that I had in my pocket. I'll, I'll use them now. Idiot. Okay, um, anything I can do. If you'd like a distraction, a smaller and safer uprising to allegedly put down, there's a planetoid in my system called Ricardophilia. It hosts a colony prison whose inmates rebelled at the same time as the heretics of the planet. It's a thoroughly ridiculous situation. It would only take us a couple of shots from orbit to take care of them, but the governor pauses, purses his lips a little. Yvain Winterscale went there, a relative, a relative of my suzerain, the great rogue traitor Caligos Winterscale, the master of the system and a dozen others. I imagine young Master Winterscale is very eager to prove himself to his distinguished kinsman. I see no reason for you uh, not to join him. It's a small planetoid. A prisoner numbers are few, and they have little in the way of weapons. It's more of a sport for noble lords and ladies than a real rebellion. Wow, this guy sucks. Hivain, Hivain. Abelard mutters, stroking his beard. One of his distant younger offspring. Yes. That's as much as I know about him, which means he hasn't distinguished himself in any meaningful way. Not even, not even through sport prisoner murder. So that's how they usually distinguish themselves. Uh, heavy chains are used to adjust the height of the command platform. Alright, let's see if this says anything about void fear. I assume this is the thing he was talking about. So, the cogitator looks a lot older and shabbier than the ones next to it. However, it's evidently been taken good care of. Numerous parts have been replaced, not a single key is jammed, and fresh seals with prayers to the Omnicide adorn the surface. One of the side panels has been removed. Bundles of gold-etched cables extend from its insides to a small data crypt that was connected only a short while ago. The screen says, awaiting access code entry. Let's hack it. And it worked. You got past defenses. Cogitator is ready to share its secrets. Tell me of your secrets. Let's go to the sacred computation. Upon Logis Abel's orders, the archives of every Augur station have been queried on Rikad Minoris and the two primary satellites in stellar orbit around Rikad. Said satellites are named Majos Maruf and uh, Zephira the Keen. After two great champions of faith, whose external cogitators were posthumously placed inside the satellite's cores. Why well, isn't that fun? The purpose of the sacred computation requested by the Logis is to uncover an external influence behind the present insurgency. Computation result, positive. Multiple instances of interference and malfunction detected, suggesting a deliberate binding of the sacred orgas eyes by ships moving across the system. Oh, blinding rather. Interesting. So there's a lot of blinding going on, huh? But even spy satellites are being blinded. Uh, the first of these ships is thought to have arrived uh, to arrived to Rikad Minoris cycle. Oh, right, because yeah, every planet has a different cycle, so yeah. that It just seems the wording was very odd. Um, it, it seemed to say it arrived at Rikad Minoris two cycles ago. No, it arrived two Rikad Minoris cycles ago. Early in the winter. Uh, those most recent, uh, the most recent one arrived a month ago. Logis Abel's conclusion, the insurrection on the planet had been long in the making. With the participation of external actors, it is alleged that two cycles ago, Aurora arrived in the Recant system. Interesting. The insurgents on Holy Prophet, of whom rumours have reached us. Subsequent ship movements can be explained as weapon deliveries. But what is the nature of their activity near uh, Raikardi Filia? Governor Medina's uh, attention must be drawn to the final entry brace off abruptly. Oh, interesting. Uh, I do wonder if Aurora is actually... Um, uh, uh, Voigtveer, you know? Certainly seems to be connected somehow. Get the impression he is, anyway. Majos Maruf satellite, uh, satellite reports that the ship has translated into the system. The signature is consistent with the records of the flagship of the Rogue Dragon's dynasty, House von Valencius. Hello! Uh, Zafiri, the keen satellite, uh, reports that a nearby drifting ship has sped away in a hurry. Interesting. The ship sent an encrypted Vox transmission to an insurgent-controlled area of the surface of Ricard Minoris. A second transmission was directed towards Fricardi Filia. Both transmissions were signed Brother Twilight. The messages themselves could not be decrypted. Okay, Brother Twilight is probably... Uh, pardon me. Um, probably um, Voigtveer. And I think... So he came in, gave the signal, 
for everyone to go bananas and then ran away. I guess is what's happening. Because I think he's trying to stop us. And also obviously has a lot of older, you know, strings he can pull. Cult-wise. Um, go to, to be investigated. The entry contains planet-side coordinates marked, heavy auger station jamming, possible hidden insurgent base. Interesting. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see if we can give him any more info to help him. Greetings again, your ladyship. That is all I wanted to discuss. Never mind, then. Never mind. Okay, well, I mean, that's um, that's a hell of a start, I'd say. I think we've done pretty well. So we're going to end the episode here. Uh, I don't know what happens when we exit. I kind of hope that it'll give us just a prompt to go back to our ship or something. Um, I think that might be where we're going. I mean, we have to go to this Mechanicus Monastery, but I assume that we'd go there. Oh no, but we need to... We need to stop the... Yeah, destroy the cannon. So, it's located on the highway leading from the starport to the Governor's Command Center. I think we must have walked past this. I assume that's what happened. I think maybe, like, we should have gone right and we went left or something. I don't know. But I feel like... We've been between the starports and the command center. I didn't see it, so... Unless it is that gun that we went past and we just didn't blow it up. That could also be a thing. I don't know. But we'll have to explore the area, I suppose, for, for this. I'm sure it's just one road we didn't go down. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.